Hello. Yes, that's right. Something I forgot to mention in yesterday's video regarding Theresa May. Even though I believe the likes of her get some sort of perverted pleasure in betraying their own country and stabbing their own people in the back, they're also infected with the disease of liberalism. And I suppose that comes part and parcel with their own defectiveness, because they're one and the same, if you ask me. Because you couldn't be one of these new liberal disciples of the brave new world without being a bit unhinged, if you ask me. You see, so that's why I believe that one and the same, they're just different sides of the same coin. There's a defectiveness the, which the liberalism embraces, or is it the other way around? I don't know. And um, they're infected with this defectiveness, which then um, is why they sort of adopt this view of the world where they want to destroy it, right? It probably, probably parallels their own defectiveness, if I've said that right. But anyway... She is infected with the disease of liberalism and nothing, nothing, including treason, right, is uh, what they will stoop to to achieve the brave new world. You see, Jeremy Corbyn's been left behind in a way regarding the brave new world. He's a bit outdated, you see. It's not an ideological Marxist brave new world now, but a sort of liberal one with a leftist slant. And even though Theresa May is a Tory, that doesn't matter. She's a disciple of the brave new world. She wants to create this brave new world with no borders, no peoples, no races, no cultures, no history, no past, no roots, just a future. The brave new world, the brave new man that embraces diversity, egalitarianism quality dogma and all the rest of the nonsense the destructive nonsense that is destroying is it's not intended to make man better it's intended to destroy western civilization but well, that's another video in itself so uh, Theresa May is indeed infected with the disease of liberalism which comes parcel and parcel with her own defectiveness because she is a defective when you look at her just look at her like Edward Heath so these people the ideal recruits for this sort of mindset we see now destroying us because it's a mindset this but it's set the mindset is like sort of set um if that's the right word by the mind by the mass media that's where it sort of emanates from that lays down the agenda doesn't it the mass media academia fashion industry and whatever music industry even that sort of lays down the agenda doesn't it which everyone then sorts of uh, parrots and uh, pushes again if I've said that right I only went to comprehensive but anyway so that's what they're doing you see and there's no arguing with this because it's bordering on a mental illness right this hatred for your own country your own people this liberalism where you want to destroy because it probably mirrors your own defectiveness right it's Hard for me to explain this, someone more intellectual could, but anyway. Uh, so that's what she's also infected with, which is the disease of liberalism. And why I say uh, Jeremy Corbyn's a bit outdated and left behind in all this is that when I was reading George Blake, do you remember in The Soviet Spy? Uh, in his autobiography, he said the reason communism failed was because it had to be enforced at the end of a bayonet. What we have to do now is create the new man to embrace it. And that's what's happening, right? Now, even though she's a Tory, Theresa May is a disciple of the brave new world, the likes of George Blake uh, spoke about, right? What he said in his book. So it doesn't matter now. It's not an ideological thing, this. And like I've said, that's why Corbyn's being left behind. If he used to drop his Bolshe Trotsky nonsense and embraced the new approach to achieve in the brave new world he'd be more received and welcomed so you ask yourself now what are we going to do because these people are evil evil dangerous people that will give no quarter they will commit treason to achieve their brave new world we've got to get our act together before our world disappears and this brave new 
nightmare world is upon us because it's happening, right? She's going to betray us. She has betrayed us. They're even blatant now. They're shameless on how they're doing this. So this is just a short video to give you an understanding as to what we're up against. Okay, thank you.